Hello dinosaur peeps! Today I want to show you all the functionality that the incubator in Ark Survival Evolve has. Back when Genesis 2 was released I already made a video about the incubator. But back then the incubator still had a lot of bugs and had some missing functionalities. So a new video about the incubator is long due. So this is your ultimate guide for the egg incubator in Ark Survival Evolved. If you want to unlock the incubator you have to travel to Genesis 2 and you have to be level 89. And even if the incubator seems tech, it is part of the industrial branch in the game. And that is also the reason why you only have to unlock the air conditioning in order to unlock the incubator. The incubator then has 10 different spots where you can store eggs on two shelves. As soon as you have unlocked the engram, you can craft it in the fabricator. And this is the material you need to craft it. 500 metal ingots, 350 polymer, 200 crystal, 100 cementing paste and 250 electronics. There is a cap how many incubators you can place and the cap is three. If you place the incubator it also needs accessible electricity. Even though the wiki says you do not need electricity in order to incubate eggs you can see here that my fertilized egg is losing health without electricity and it also stopped incubating. If your surrounding temperatures are ideal to incubate the egg then it might be true that you do not need electricity but if that's the case then, then you wouldn't even need the incubator. As soon as an egg is in the inventory of the incubator and the incubator has electricity, you can see a lot of information. On the right side you see the colors and the stats of the baby in the egg and on the other side you also get information about the temperature that the egg likes to incubate in. No worries, you do not have to change the temperature if you don't want to, but if you do you will get a 20% speed bonus for incubating. To change the temperature you only have to use the radial menu and then you can simply raise or lower the temperature as needed. I remember some people got upset when the incubator got released that you can only use it for dinosaurs that are laying eggs and the dinosaurs that give birth to babies can't be checked with the incubator. And when the incubator got released that was actually the case but a few weeks after the release of the incubator it got a new feature and with that feature you can see the stats and the colors of the baby if you look at the pregnant female. You even have the option to cancel the pregnancy if the baby does not have the stats or the colors that you want. If you want to check the stats on your pregnant female, stand in front of the incubator and use the radial menu and get the buff. This buff lasts for five minutes and then you have a new menu point in the radial menu of the female and there you can see the baby stats and analyze them. You can save a lot of time with that because you do not have to wait the whole pregnancy in order to see the stats. And if you choose to cancel the pregnancy, you're even saving more time. Even though the female jumps to the mating cooldown, you can mate her again quicker and all in all it saves you a lot of time. Another amazing feature of the incubator is that for the first time in the history of ARC you can see the level points of your stats of your dino. Usually you needed a mod or a third party tool for this. But if you are a little bit confused what these levels mean and you want to see the raw stats of your dino without matching them, we made a little website in which you can enter your dino stat levels and then we can tell you what the raw stats of your dino is. In the long run, I would suggest to you to calculate in stat levels instead of the raw stats. It's honestly so much more handy. The incubator is really a helpful tool for breeders, even though it's not perfect because we're still missing a destroy all eggs button in the incubator. To click every single egg to destroy it is tedious. And it happened to me before that I accidentally destroyed the wrong egg. It was the egg that I wanted to keep. But maybe Maybe we will get the button at some point. All in all, the incubator is going to help you to have your breeding day be a little bit more smooth. Even I use it on our inofficial cluster and I technically wouldn't need to use it, but it's really handy. And this is everything you need to know about the egg incubator in ARC. If you still have questions, then just put them in the comments and the link to the calculator is in the video description. Just try it out. If you want to be part of my community, then just leave a sub to this channel or check out our Discord. We have a lot of ARC players on the Discord that help each other and exchange information about the game. I also post updates on my Discord if I have new tools or even infographics to the game. And now I hope you have a lot of fun with the game and I'll see you in the next video.